So welcome back to Road to Glory and the legend of Scott Scott. We had toyed around yesterday with entering the transfer portal. Um, there are some teams that are certainly interested in us. That would be some crazy opportunities, especially like Georgia here. That's like an A-plus fit. Uh, even Florida State, which is a, an in-conference transfer. But I do believe we stick it out one more year with North Carolina. And the reason is this. I don't want to move to the SEC just yet. When we do, I want it to be with LSU. And Nussmeyer is a senior. And you know Scott Scott's going to get better as this season goes along. We're going to get better pretty much right now because we do have some skill points to spend. We'd almost probably be at the point where we'd be challenging Nussmeyer. But uh, we're going to hold off on LSU. We're going to finish our career there. But we are sticking around in the ACC with the North Carolina Tar Heels after we were a game away from the national championship last year. And most of the guys that we really love to play with, especially Jordan Ship, is still here. He's actually only a sophomore, so that's crazy. I think a redshirt sophomore. Um, he's the big one, and I think Johnson's coming back as well. <clears throat> Excuse me, at tight end. So, I'm staking it out with the North Carolina Tar Heels. All right, the first practice of Scott Scott's junior year. All right, good start. And we've only gotten gold on this twice. All right. Outer and middle, really. I thought that first one was also middle. Mm. We're going to have to try and scramble out here. Mm, well, we got the one. We missed the other and missed the catch. It could have been could have been better, but it could have been worse. <clears throat> Ooh, we just clipped that ring. We don't do that. This practice is all over. That should be good. We clipped the outer ring. Three reps remaining, but we are still only in bronze. All right, enter. Oh, what? We? How did we miss that target? That seems crazy. Uh, well, we got the targets. One rep remaining. Mm, it was the only chance we had, but we did actually get gold. Barely. <laughs> Not really barely. We did get it by 3,000 points. Hey, that's a great start to... Our junior year. Alright, so... As always in the early stages of the season... We do want to get... A little bit going... On our academics. We're going to put... One point in there... And put those other points into academics... Just to get... Just past... Unprepared. Ready for the first game of the year? I want... Oh boy. I want to give you a challenge. Don't turn the ball over... And don't take more than two sacks... I don't even know who we play yet, but you think in non-conference play, this should be doable. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> I see why we've got the goal now. It is the number one team in the country. The Alabama Crimson Tide that ended our season. Last year in the Peach Bowl in the semifinal. <laughs> I really just got to stop talking sometimes. Probably got drafted. Starting off in practice. Decent start. Mm, I don't know how we're going to go about this. Uh, well, we got one. I guess that's the most important thing. Mm, oh, we did just get that other one. Okay. Already got bronze with five reps left. Oh, this is going to be tricky. Now, we're not really hitting middle of, of these rings. Oh. Okay. 
Okay, well, no catch. That sucks just a little bit. Uh, again, we haven't had a lot of success with this one here. Uh, we got a little success. Two reps remaining. Multiplier's in good shape. Gonna have to get this one right. Well, at least get the one. Ooh, we didn't really get it right. One rep remaining. This is gonna be tricky. <clears throat> oh, hey, we got it. Kind of surprising. Back-to-back -back golds in practice. All right, to the agenda before we upgrade our player for the first time here in our junior year. We're going to add in some more training, which means we're going to have to put a point in there. Put a point into academics and a point into leadership. And we can actually put two points into leadership, so that's good to start the year. And now, Scott Scott at a 90 overall. We have nine skill points to work with here. So we could either focus on health, which I don't really think we need to do. Um, I'm going to max out accuracy. Or do we save up for throw power? That is... That's going to take weeks to get. Half a... I mean, more than half a season. We usually only go for one skill point every time so i mean 91 throw power is fine so we'll just focus on that accuracy get all 99s 88s 88 throw under pressure 99 throw on the run that's important and we are as i was expecting just below where nussmeyer at lsu was after that i knew we'd be right there but we still probably would have been uh having to fight for the position uh we'll just go to lsu next year and uh, play out this season with the Tar Heels. It is only a little bothersome that you can't change your number. Now, I wouldn't have changed Scott's, but for future Road to Glories, that's a little bit unfortunate. Maybe go to a different helmet. I mean, we are at UNC. We could uh, cosplay as Drake May. <laughs> yeah, no. <laughs> We're not doing that. One to Charlotte and the Duke's Mayo Classic. A lot of buzz and buildup as we kick off another college football season here today. This is not just any other matchup. Both teams come in ranked in the top ten, colliding early in the season, each trying to set the tone with a big statement. As we'll see the number one team in the country, the Alabama Crimson Tide, taking on the third-ranked team, the North Carolina Tar Heels. For EA Sports College Football, I'm Chris Fowler, joined here in the booth by Kirk Herbstreit. Kirk, let's get to the action on the field. While this is technically kind of a home game being played in Charlotte, it's being treated as a neutral site game. <laughs> so that's not good. But North Carolina starts with the ball, and here is Devin Roche, who actually finished seventh in best running back in his first, or our first season here at UNC. I don't know what class he's in. Gain of five for Roche. We'll keep it on the ground with him again. Another gain. It's not backwards, so we've got that going for us. Third and three. This guy going to scramble, slide down, pick up a first down. Hopefully a good early tone setter. That's not my favorite play in the world, especially on third down. Obvious passing situations is here's Roche. Devin Roche. That's more moves on that run than he's had in uh, probably half the season last year. Second down and four from the 45. And here is Roche again. And, hey, last season, he probably pivots back and runs into the tackler there. Roche with another first down run, and we are into Alabama territory. Not much of a Scott Scott game as of yet. It's another nice run for Devin Roche. Five rushes, 30 yards here on this opening drive. Oh, Scott's got broke a tackle. He's still going. Shoved out of bounds hard at the 27. I don't even think we've thrown a downfield pass here. 
But first down now. Play action. Oh, oh, wow. That went from, oh, shit, that's getting picked off, to, oh, wow, we might have a chance to a dropped, to a dropped pass. Second down and 10. Scott under pressure, tried to get rid of it, takes a sack. Third and 18. At least want to try and get back into field goal range. They've got some guys pressed out here. Oh, look at this from Scott. Scott, we may have a chance to get to this first down. We're just shy. Didn't have the speed. It's fourth down, but it should be an easy field goal for the Tar Heels. Well, forget the easy field goal. They went for it on fourth down somehow. A run for Roche. You know, he doesn't have a negative run yet today. Gain of six. Second down and four. And here's Roche again. Still no negative runs. It's third down and two. I really like this play call here for this spot. See if we can find Johnson or Randolph. Going to have to try and find Randolph. First down and goal to the one-yard line. The fifth UNC first down here. First and goal from the one and throwing the football is probably a stupid decision, but... Oh, well, that wasn't really the plan. I, I didn't want to throw the ball really ever as that ends the first quarter. So second and goal starts the second quarter. North Carolina took the entire first quarter with this drive alone. Scott rolls out and finds the end zone. Touchdown, North Carolina. A couple key drives or a couple key scrambles on the drive for Scott Scott and an early lead over Alabama which we could not get the last time we played this team in the Peach Bowl when they ended our season. Defense held the Crimson Tide to a field goal. And Jordan Ship over there in press coverage. However, we're going to find this dump off. Look at that. Already up near midfield. 31 yards through the air. Not a ton of passing yards for Scott Scott. Mainly running. Just trying to stay safe with the football because that's what we didn't do last time against Alabama. Is here's Roche. He had no blockers on the outside, but gained six. And already in to Alabama territory. I'd watch out for Jordan Ship here on this play. And it is going to be Jordan Ship, and he might just score inside the 20. Ship inside the five to the four. Our favorite target from our sophomore season, Jordan Ship, does it again. 1,500 career receiving yards after that one as well. Not sure what the milestone is there for 1,534, but we ain't going to complain. He was wide open on this one. And North Carolina's in business yet again. So first down and goal from the four. We're going to try to touch pass, this time to Billups. It's usually ship on this play. Billups to the outside. Touchdown, North Carolina. That might be the first touchdown pass to Billups that we've ever thrown, albeit on a touch pass, but that play has worked ever since we got to Chapel Hill. About to be 14-3 North Carolina. This North Carolina defense doing the job against Alabama right now. 2.35 to go before halftime. It's 14-3. Handoff for O'Shea. He's still not going to have any negative runs. Run a hurry up play. Why not? And that's why not. Because we lose two on the sack. Well, we'll take this down to the two minute warning and then uh, hopefully get aggressive on the uh, third down. Yep, that's what I was hoping for. Hopefully, this is high percentage. Might have Culliver one on one. We'll see. The drag. Caught. Fourth and inches. No, and a timeout. Oh, we're going to punt it. That right there is why you don't give the ball back to Alabama if you can avoid it. First down, 34 seconds to go. Scott going to launch a deep ball with a flag down. It's knocked away. Let's check the flag. It's focusing on an offensive lineman. And it is indeed holding. Trayvon Green. Who, who would have fucking thought? The main guy that committed penalties on the offensive line a year ago. 
It's first and 20. Ran out of time. Scott took a big hit. Second and 20. We're going to run this, see if we can get any semblance of yardage. As Roche, that's a little bit of last season's Devin Roche. And coach will not give me a passing play. Oh, wait, we can run this down to halftime. What are we doing? We don't have to give the ball back to Alabama. We will take a 14-10 halftime lead into the locker room. At the start of the second half here. Good starting field position for North Carolina as well. Scott Scott rolling out. Dangerous ball, but it's over the head of everybody. We've had a turnover-free game thus far. We'd like to keep it that way. If we can do that, I really like our chances here in the game as Roche's not going to get much. In fact, he somehow loses a yard. Third down and 11 from the 40. Culliver's got double coverage over him. Scott rolls out. Going to try and playmaker. We got a man down there inside the 30, staying in bounds, and inside the 10. The playmaker worked, and it's Hamilton to the 6. How massive could that play be? Roche on first and goal. Nada. No gain. Used up a good chunk of these play call changes, unfortunately. It's second and goal from the six-yard line. Oh, we're going to get sacked. Hit hard, too, twice. Third and 12. We had some early success on the scrambles. Not so much as of late. And here's third down and goal from the 12. We got Billups. He's to the one. Oh, I tried to hurry up. We're going to kick a field goal for the one, aren't we? So they must have went for it on fourth down with a fake field goal or something without us. And it's 21-18 now. Not sure who that was in the backfield here. As Roche is back in the game now on second down and 11. Here is Roche. He's got a block, had to hop over one of his own men. Still gain six. It's third down and four. And this is, the, this is a play that we threw a lot of interceptions against Alabama with the last time we faced them. Oh, it's the wrong receiver, but it's going to work out. First down, North Carolina. Be able to run this down to the fourth quarter with a three-point lead over the number one team in the country. One quarter to go. We don't do anything stupid. We got this. Start of the fourth quarter, Tar Heels lead by three, 21-18, and a first down run for Roche, and there's, that's not really on Roche, counter play that as soon as he made that pivot, had a guy right in his face, had to get that off, cutting it upfield is Paul Billups, makes it third and seven, a lot more manageable now. We got Culliver out there with a man all over him. On the run, that's going to be a completed ball! And a first down and more, and I think that's Paul Billups again. First down, Tar Heels to the 33. Fake touch pass. Wait, don't I have to block on this play? First down, North Carolina. No, oh, wait, it is a touch pass. I don't know what that was. Second down and 11. We do still have 14 play call changes. Going to try and use through those. Getting down on it now. A score here. Could be a dagger. Johnson's wide open over the middle of the field. Jake Johnson, third and one. Now, I'd actually like to run the ball here. But no running options. Third and one, play action, not exactly my preferred move, but here we go. Oh, Christ. Running back never got out of the backfield. It's an awkward pass. Going to have to try and go up six. Well, Coach Aggressive again got us a first down to the 17-yard line, once again without us. 
As here's Roche on the handoff. He's got a block. It's a solid run. A gain of nine. To the eight-yard line. So close, yet so far. Over the middle. That should be a touchdown, and it is. Paul Billups again on the number one Alabama Crimson Tide. A little bit of a... A little bit of revenge from last season. Well, Alabama scores a touchdown. You knew they'd fight to the very end. A first down, though, is going to go a long way to end this game. That's a really nice first down run for Devin Roche and a timeout for Alabama. Why? No, we're not throwing the ball. RPOs are not. We're going to try the touch pass here. His play's worked already once today. Second and four. Uh, didn't get it. Still fighting, though. He gains a yard. Timeout, Alabama, yet again. A huge, huge play. I'm going to bring Culliver in on a drag. We'll have him. Does he hang on? He does, and that's a first down. Is that going to be game? No, because it didn't reach the two-minute warning either. I guess they wouldn't have used the timeout then. It might not be game just yet. A first down, though, will end it. There's the two-minute warning. That's out of the way. And now if it's up to me, I'm calling back-to-back -back runs. And then if we don't get a first down, at least we can pin Alabama deep. Second and nine. Roche. Devin Roche. It's third down and nine. Well, it's not going to be really up to me. We're going to have to wind the clock down manually. Well, here we go. For the game. That should be it. Cut it upfield. He does. First down, Tar Heels. We're going to knock off the number one team in the country, the Alabama Crimson Tide, here in week one, 28 25. W here. Their season is up and running. The goal was to be 1 0, but also, Kirk, we got a chance to see what this team is capable of when they play their best. I completely agree with you, Chris. I was definitely impressed with this performance. We'll just have to see how far this team can really go. And that is going to wrap it up. We enjoyed this one here. For Kirk Herb Street, I'm Chris Fowler, and this has been another presentation of EA Sports College Football. Look, I know sacks always aren't your fault. The offensive line struggled, but you got to know that your internal timer has got to get quicker. That's what we're worried about after that game. Renewal Wellness Center with an NIL offer. Six-week contract for the cost of three energy up front. Reduction of two points of wear and tear on the first week on one of the following areas. I mean, I feel like we do a pretty good job of managing this ourselves. It might save us energy in the long run, but we're just going to probably train anyway, and it's not really going to matter. Uh, uh, I'd rather not. I'd rather just handle it myself. Scott Scott to the practice field. Well, decent start. Double targets are always nice. Uh... Not really going to be possible here on this one. Oh, well. Oof. So much for the accuracy. Still a chance to have a decent practice. No, we just... Well, we're not really getting catches, but we're hitting targets. For the most part. No, oh, just clip that one. I hooked that. And I really didn't have to. Damn. We were doing so well in practice. We really suck here in this one. Once again, not going to be able to get two, but... Hey, there's a middle. Helps out. 
We might be able to eke out silver. I don't really like our chances. No. Nope. Pretty disappointing bronze. So to the agenda, I know I said I wanted to spend some points on training. Get some more skill points going for us. Did we actually not get a skill point for that? Oof. Okay. Well, we only have two energy left. Can we spend them both on academics? No. We'll max out, or nearly max out leadership. Worth Texas and Amon G. Carter Stadium, home of the TCU Horned Frogs. What a game and what potential drama we have in store. You've seen this script before. Top 10 team goes into a cauldron of emotion on the road and just hopes to be able to get out and tell about it. As we'll see the number one team in the country, the North Carolina Tar Heels, taking on a team from the Big 12, the TCU Horned Frogs. So after beating Alabama, we are the number one team in the country. Defense forces a stop early. Scott Scott's first road test of his junior year. As it's Roche on the handoff. Short gain of two. Don't want to do anything that's going to get this crowd involved. We had a Mo Bamba on the second play of the game. Roche again. There's pressure off that outside. No gain. It's third and eight. The Big 12's TCU Horn Frogs. Oh, oh, he somehow caught that ball. Do we have a new number one target in Paul Billups? Oh, man. That was zone coverage and just the corner never really bit on it. As here's Billups again to the outside on the jet sweep. Actually, that was a touch pass. First down for Billups again to the 28-yard line. Try and run with Devin Roche. And not much success on the ground here in the early stages of this game. Second down and nine from the 27. Roche has blocks. Tried to get to the outside. That's that old tendency of his. And it's third down. We're inside field goal range, although coach hasn't really been... Up for kicking field goals much in the early stages of this year. We had pressure off the right side. That's where I tried to scramble. Field goal attempt surely upcoming. So 3 0 North Carolina after that first drive fell a little bit short. But the defense makes a stop again. And here we go on the touch pass. And out wide. Paul Billups. Oh, he broke one. Billups still going past the 50. Most of our passing yards are on touch passes to Paul Billups. And this receiver is so dangerous. So I don't even feel like there's a reason to use many of our play call changes here early. Shit like that's working. Running the ball certainly ain't. Five carries for Roche. He's got three yards. Well, let's incorporate him in a different way. Hopefully on a screen pass. They sent pressure. There's two guys there. Only one blocker. Roche gains six and it's third down and eight. I just call I just called a run. Oops. We could burn a timeout, and I think we're it's well well, that was actually really dumb. There was one second to go before halftime. We didn't have to do the or halftime. One timeout. One second <clears throat> remaining in the first quarter. Third and eight. Looking for Johnson. He's got it. First down. We'll start the second quarter with a first down. First down from the 26 to start the second quarter. 3-0 North Carolina. Roche. Solid run. Probably his best of the game. Gain of five. Leaves second and five. Oh, well, we threw the wrong receiver again, but that's a diving catch for a first and goal. Done that twice, but Paul Billups lays out and gets it. Three chances to gain four yards. Fullback motions to a tight end spot, and that's not even Roche. Nowhere to go. Loss of four. Second and goal. Billups. Got him again. Third and goal from the two. And I'm fairly certain we just called the same exact play. 
Uh, there's nobody over there on Owen. Or actually, Culliver. I got a little confused. Tried to go to the end zone. We can't get it. I got spooked. I didn't realize there was two receivers over there. And Coach wants to... Wait, he wants to go for it on fourth and goal. Oh, boy. Roche looking. End zone can't get there. Turnover on downs at the one. Well, it's still only 3-0. Three 3.59 to go before halftime. Defense got to stop there. Here's Roche. His first. First down run. There we go. Gotta feel, I feel like we got to try and get something going in the downfield passing game here. Oh, we got a guy through the middle. We're going to get sacked again. Loss of seven. TCU's a tougher opponent thus far than Alabama. Tried to wait as long as we could. It's third and 17. No idea how to pick this one up. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. It's underthrown and dropped. Struggle on offense so far in this one. Well, defense bails us out once again. Two timeouts remaining for North Carolina. And that's a sack. This coverage sacks really all game right now. Play action for Scott. Scott need to find a man. It's knocked away. We really should. I mean, I don't. I don't know if I like this at all. Third and fifteen. We're just basically running this play to try and get TCU to use one of their timeouts, and they do. No guarantee that we lead at halftime here. Gave the ball back to TCU. And they're going to lead 7-3 at halftime. Really rough first half for North Carolina. Tar Heels start the second half of the football. We need to be crisp on offense. Already on upset alert. It's a run for O'Shea, and you guessed it. He went backwards. I love using a play call change just for it to give me the same play twice. Throw on the run. Off the hands of our intended receiver. Third and 12. Coverage just too tight. Could be a massive third down and 12 here. Flag on the play, and I think that happened before we threw the pass, so it's going to be holding. They decline the penalty, will punt. The defense is doing what they can to keep us in this game. We are uh, not, however, as it'll be Billups on the touch pass. Uh, gains the yardage. It's more than the running game's been doing. Honestly, I don't really want to call them any more runs. They're just not working. Scott got hit hard after a gain of one. Oof. Third and six. Big play upcoming. And we're going to... Oh, Jesus, that got picked. What a bizarre pick six for TCU. Pick six by a big man. There's just too much pressure. There's not enough space for our receivers to work right now. It's been an ugly game. Throwing. That's caught. Looking to the sideline up to the 47. Oh, I don't really like any of this. Bring somebody in on a drag. Thankfully, it worked. <clears throat> there is the drag. That's a catch. Oh, God. It's an RPO. Oh, well. We're just going to hand it off here on second and two. First down run. We don't really need to go hurry up right now. We are really burning through our play call changes. 
Trying to change it up. Stay in a rhythm. Scott rolling out. Going to be a tough catch. Off the hands again. Our guys just haven't hang, hung on to the football well at all today. Just not enough space. Roche dancing around a little bit too much. It's only a gain of a yard. Every single passing play, I feel like I have to change the play. Phillips. I think he hung on. He did. First down. That could be a big one. Looking for Johnson. Incomplete. Awkward. Awkward ball to try and bring down. Second down. TCU could bring a lot of pressure here. <clears throat> they did. One up the middle. One off the left side. And it's third and ten. Can't settle for a field goal here. Oh, God. That's picked off. Too much TCU right now. It's 14-3. Maroon 19, and we're running the ball, and Devin Roche has done Devin Roche things. You know, I feel like this playbook is just different. I don't know. At least the play calling here in this game isn't really as good as it usually is, and that was dropped. We have dropped way too many passes here today. Scott's got, no, he doesn't have room. It's fourth down, and that's the quarter as well. Well, we beat the number one team in the country last week, and we're going to be number one for all of a week if, these, if this keeps up right here. Fourth and 11, and we're going for it. Got to try and get to the edge. I think that's Johnson, and he did. Might just save the game for us. Oh, God, dude. RPOs aren't getting us anywhere right now. This should be good. No, it's underthrown and picked. It's just the formula for us losing games, man. Every fucking time we do it. It's going to take one fucking crazy effort now. I try and go to the sideline. Phillips, that ball gets launched in the air. We haven't been able to come down with balls that have hit us in the hands with contact there. It just hasn't happened all game. It's a first down. Score and a stop. Our only chance in all of these plays stink. That should be a first down. It is cutting up field to the 10. Need something to happen. This guy got hit hard, but it's incomplete. Running out of play call changes as well. Five minutes to go in the game already. That's not going to be enough. Third and goal from the five. Phillips, end zone, touchdown North Carolina, finally. Paul Phillips is in the end zone, but we got the score. Now we just need the stop and another score. Not only did they get a stop, they got a turnover. Looking is Scott Scott. He finds Billups again, who makes a man miss. One play later, it's first and goal. First and goal, down seven. What a switch around in this game, and Roche. It's Scott Scott or nothing here today. Running game ain't, ain't working. Drops. Who would have thought? Another hard hit 
from TCU. Knocks the ball free. Third and goal from the 12. And they send pressure. Scott got rid of it. We need a score on fourth and goal from the 12. That's picked off. Dude, I'm never calling. I'm never throwing to a fucking curl again, man. <clears throat> Curls just, they don't, they don't fucking work. Same thing that happened against Alabama in a Peach Bowl. My receivers don't fight off any fucking defender. They're just allowed to run through your ass. I don't really know how, but we're still in this game somehow. One timeout plus the two-minute warning, which will happen here. And we got to get rid of that. Two-minute warning here in this one. Going to dump it off. Roche, first down and across the 50. I can't even call hurry up. That's a little messed, uh, messed up there. Man got popped. And he dropped it. Dude, how many times are we going to drop a ball in this game? Man, we stink. Looking for Johnson. We've got Johnson. First down out of bounds. We're into the red zone. Really running out of play call changes now. Gotta dump that off. Try and get out of bounds. I don't think he did. Second down and five. Billups is hung up. I don't know how that's not pass interference. They were banging all over. Ten yards downfield. Third and five. Looking for Johnson. We're really lucky that's not picked off. And this is a play for the game. Don't need it all. That's Hamilton over the middle. He's got the first down. Spins out of it. Touchdown, North Carolina. Oh, Hamilton scores, but now almost, in fact, over a minute for TCU to respond. Tar Heels came into this game number one. We've been terrible all game. But we're sitting here with a chance. So, uh, I don't really know how it happened, but we have the ball back. Lucky that's not intercepted. Scott got hit hard again, 27 seconds. I feel like eventually we're going to have to not call four verts. Please! Third and 15. Almost like calling four verts the first two plays of the drive isn't the move. We're in overtime. I mean, I guess this should be considered a bit of a win here. A little delay there for the tight end. We motioned him upfield. Got a block. Scott Scott's got a first down to the 10. I mean, I know we haven't run the ball where the damn all game, but... Can't all be on me is, yeah, yeah, it's going to have to be. Roche's got nothing. All gain. We just don't have the short passes we're used to calling. And, it, uh, dude, you're on a drag. How does it take you that long to come across the field on a drag? We might have to hope for Culliver. We might have to hope for Culliver, and I think it's overthrown. Well, I don't really know where we're at in overtime, but we do have another chance with the football. Looking for Johnson. He's got it. He's going to score, but now we have to go for two. I know. It's so frustrating. These plays are terrible. Using our last play call change on the two-point conversion. What, did, did, did he catch it? He did. Okay. We're tied. 
Oh. Cool. So now we got to do this. Two point conversions the rest of this game. Which means we have to run with Roche, and we all know what happens there. How we got another chance at this, I don't know. To do it again. Over the middle. He's got it with a flag down, though. Offensive pass interference. <laughs> and then you call a run? What are we doing? You call a run from the 13! I don't even have a choice in the matter at this point! We deserve to lose after that! Dude, I don't know! Now we're calling RPOs! It's picked on, oh, dude. I feel like I had to throw it to the end zone somehow. Quarterback draw.